Ho, ho, ho! Are you ready? Let's spice up our Christmas table and make it even more personal, cozy, and super full of love. I have the perfect idea for you, and it's the most adorable Christmas little cuddlery pouch here. This is crocheted. It's super cute and I cannot wait to show you guys how to make one. You will need some Friends Cotton 8.4 and a crocheting hook 2.5 millimeters or C2. Start with a slip knot like so and then it's chaining time because you have to chain 21 stitches. Exactly like this. I will fast forward a bit. <laughs> Here you go. This is our chain and I actually recommend you to turn it around and crochet in the back side. One second. Here you go. And then we have the middle loop. This one. Skip the first chain and then crochet one single crochet in each and every single chain until the end of the row. Insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, then yarn over again and pull through both loops on the hook. Finish the row with single crochets and then turn with a turning chain. Let me hurry up a little. The following part will be a bit repetitive as we have to crochet a total of 29 rows. After the last single crochet of each row, we will turn our work with the turning chain. Exactly like I did here. That's easy, right? After you turn your work, please enter your book behind the turning chain, exactly here. And then we will continue to crochet single crochets in each and every single stitch until the end of the row and then it's time for turning chain again. Perfect! The last stitch of the row is this leaning stitch that you can see here that's easy to identify. Make sure that you always end your row with that stitch, otherwise the sides will end up uneven. We're about to start a new row and just let me show you. Here you can see the turning chain. The next single crochet is placed directly after the turning chain and then you follow in the next stitch and the next stitch and so on. Now it's time to get yourself comfortable, turn on your favorite Christmas movie, get yourself a hot cocoa and then work those single crochet stitches. <laughs> and one more row, 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 one more row. Watch out! Nosy little fingers are incoming in three, two, one. No, 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 watch out, that's hot. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and so on. This is actually how you count those rows. Each one of those stripes consists of two rows and we have half a row in the bottom, so 29 in total. Let's now crochet the openings for the ribbon. Crochet a double crochet in the next stitch. And one more time, we yarn over, insert the hook. Yarn over, pull a loop, yarn over, and then pull the hook through two of the loops, yarn over again, and pull it through the last two loops on the hook, like this. Now chain one and skip the next stitch, this one, instead go into this one and crochet one double crochet in here as we did before. Perfect. And one more double crochet. Just like this and then again chain one, skip the next stitch and crochet a double crochet in the second stitch. Perfect. And one more double crocheting stitch. Continue this until the end of the row. Great job so far. Turn with the turning chain and then we crochet three more rows in single crochets. Now you're done with the first part of your pouch, cut the ends and crochet one more piece exactly like we did before. I think I was a bit faster than you. I will now also cut the ends of the second piece and weave them in and then we're ready to join both pieces together. Place the two pieces on top of each other like this and then crochet them together with single crochet stitches. For that you need a slip knot and then you enter your hook in the first corner right here and crochet a single crochet. 
and you actually do that all the way around the edges as soon as you arrive at the first corner you need to crochet two single crochets in the same stitch to form the corner it might be a bit tricky to see where exactly you have to insert the hook at the end of the day it does not exactly matter try to be as close to the edge as possible and as even as possible don't worry if the two pieces get out of place while you crochet your single crochet stitches just pull them in the right place again and you'll be fine i have now finished my first edge and at the corner i crocheted two times a single crochet in the same stitch and have formed a corner now. I have closed off all the edges and will cut the yarn and weave in the ends. Schnibbidi schnabbidi schnapp. <laughs> this is how my pouch looks like now. And now it's time to crochet the ribbon. For that we again start with a slip knot and then you have to chain 64 chain stitches and watch out that you don't get distracted. Oh dear. <laughs> How many stitches have I crocheted already? Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 65 chain stitches, here we go. Skip the first stitch and then crochet slip stitches all the way until the end of your ribbon. And again, it is easier to crochet into the back side of your chain. That's what I would do. <laughs> Cut the thread and weave in the ends with your wool needle, like so. Do the same with the ends sticking out of your pouch, if you have not done so, like me. <laughs> and then you're ready to insert the ribbon through the holes in the pouch. All right, now I am done with my little pouch. I weaved in my ends, I put in my ribbon inside, and it is basically ready to uh, have the cutlery put in. I'm actually gonna show you how that actually looks. And one thing is for sure, these are very versatile. You can do so many things out of these cute little pouches, including maybe adding small gifts to it, making, making a, some nice little advent calendars as well. There we go. Look at how cute that looks. So, so adorable. Um, absolutely love it and I'm definitely going to try and make it in different colors, maybe changing the ribbon to a different color. Um, super cute project. Enjoy making these cute little pouches and I will see you guys soon with a new tutorial. Have a lot of fun and once again, Merry Christmas!